My name is Charlie Reed, and over the past year, I've transformed my body and this is my transformation. I'm now on a mission to share my knowledge and help those who want to do the same. It was not overnight, but it was worth it. And I thank myself every day for it. I truly believe I have the simplest approach to getting in the best shape of your life. People love to overcomplicate fitness, especially online. And so everything I do, I make it my mission to make it as straightforward as possible. The key to a transformation is sustainability and commitment. The plan you follow has to be sustainable, not built for a bodybuilder who's on performance enhancers, and you have to be committed. Not motivated every day, but you have to be committed to going on the days you don't feel like it. The two pictures I showed you at the start were eight months apart. The transformation didn't take that long, it's just when the pictures were taken. At the time of my transformation, I stuck to three key principles. One, eating in the calorie deficit. Two, 10,000 steps a day. And three, three lifting sessions per week. And it was effortless. I also had a full-time office job where I sat down eight hours a day during the whole time, uh, five days a week. I also did no cardio training apart from walking every day. I also didn't cut a single food out of my diet. So hopefully that's all of your excuses gone and out the window that you could have made. And now we can really get cracking on it to show you exactly how to do it yourself. So this is my current physique. Although I'm nowhere near what I was at the start of the last transformation, I am about half a stone or seven pounds heavier than I was when I was in my peak condition uh, in the summer. Uh, at the end of that transformation I showed you. So what I'm going to do now is for eight weeks, put myself back into a steady cut and a calorie deficit. And I'm about to show you exactly how to work it all out. So here's going to be a day in a life of an initial cut. And then see where I can get. First of all, a quick coffee and then start to work out our maintenance calories. So I currently weigh 176 pounds, 80 kilos or 12 stone and a half. To work out your maintenance calories, you've got to take your body weight in pounds and times it by 15. This isn't an exact number. This is based on roughly about an hour of walking or some sort of activity per day for the average person. Uh, but it's a pretty good guide to start with. For a steady cut, you're looking to take your body weight in pounds and times it by 12. We don't want to go too low on our cut, so times 12 is sufficient and a nice steady cut. If you go too low, you start to sacrifice your muscle mass, you start to mess with your hormone levels, and overall it's a miserable experience because you're starving the whole time. So I worked out my cutting calories at a steady cut is 2,100, which is roughly about 500 calorie deficit per day. Now to work out our macros, protein is around, well, your body weight in pounds, so mine's 176. You want about 0.8 grams per pound of body weight to be sufficient protein level. A lot of people say one pound uh, per one, for one gram, but 0.8 is sufficient. So we've got about 140 grams of protein. For your uh, fat calories, you want it to be about 30% of your diet. So 2,100 times 0.3 will give you 30%, which is 630 calories. For every gram of fat, there is 9 calories. So that's how you obviously work out exactly what, uh, how many grams of fat that you need. So we have 140 grams of protein and 70 grams of fat per day. The rest of your calories are going to be filled with carbs. So you take the 2,100 calories that you have in your budget, minus the 560 calories of protein and minus 630 calories of fat, and the rest is left with carbs. There is four calories per gram of carbs, exactly the same as protein. So 910 calories will give you 227 grams of carbs per day. So that's a nice balanced diet. We don't want to cut out carbs. We don't want to cut out fats. We don't want to cut out any proteins. You want to keep it nice and mixed and just get sufficient levels on each one. Just remember, you know, carbs don't make you fat. Fat doesn't make you fat. Eating too much makes you fat. So just stay in a calorie deficit. Here's a full view of the page just in case you want to go back to any part.
quick meal and get the steps in for a big night out tonight. Going to see the Jingle Bell. What you got? What you got? <laughs> if you had not had this meal from Wagamama, I highly recommend it. Get the beef teriyaki soba with chicken on the side.